We are now on the CMN Naval booth here at uh, World Defense Show 2022 and the company unveiled an unmanned variant of its uh, HSI-32 interceptor. Sir, good morning. Can you please introduce yourself? Certainly. I'm Andrew Lee, head of R&D for CMN Naval. Andrew, can you plus, uh, please uh, start with uh, introducing uh, the HSI-32? Uh, the HSI high-speed interceptor is 32 meter uh, multi-capable, multi-mission vessel, uh, capable of speeds approaching 50 knots. Uh, do you have uh, existing customers for this uh, ship? Yes, we've got several existing customers for the, uh, for the vessel, absolutely. And here at the show you unveiled and actually you are demonstrating live an unmanned variant of this uh, boat, can you tell us more? Absolutely, yeah, we're very proud uh, to be demonstrating um, the fact that we've set up a fully controllable monitoring base here for uh, our USV, which is an uh, unmanned variant of the HSI 32 meter, 50 knot capable vessel, uh, currently operating off the coast of Normandy in France, fully autonomous from our control station here, with the capability of going into remote control as well if we, if we, if we wish. How did you come up with uh, this idea? Was it a request from a customer? Uh, not necessarily. We feel that that's um, obviously the technology is there. We've partnered with some very strong people to make this possible um, as a group effort. And uh, we're very proud to, to show its capabilities at the show. Um, we think there's a huge value in what we're trying to establish. We've proven the technology now on the largest high-speed interceptor in the world right now as an autonomous vessel and um, we want to take it to the next phase. Uh, obviously we have a, a, a number of ideas where we can take this technology to. Uh, the possibilities are really endless uh, as long as we have connectivity, safety with the vessel uh, in an unmanned variant. Um, we have got various different mission profiles where we can minimize the amount of crews who are in harm's way and we can minimize the training, etc., and obviously uh, increase the value of the assets to the customer. Are the mission sets uh, different between the unmanned and the manned boat? Not at all. They can be absolutely identical. Okay, so we have full control uh, over all the sensors. What you see behind you right here is a complete duplicate of the Raytheon Synapsis command and control system. So that is actually uh, a controllable console that would be on the boat, but we're actually having it here in Riyadh and we're controlling the boat and monitoring the boat and tracking targets, selecting targets with the EOD cameras as well as the weapon camera for the actual vessel, okay? So we've got a very uh, very similar mission profile with the man versus the unmanned. That's the whole beauty of the system. And uh, last but not least, can you name your technology partners? Absolutely. As I mentioned, uh, the, the C2 system is for Raytheon on, on all the existing vessels as well as the unmanned vessel. And the programmable uh, the software system for the autonomy of the vessel um, has been supplied by Sea Machines of the United States, Boston. Michael Johnson, you're the CEO of Sea uh, Machines. Uh, what is Sea Machines? Sea uh, Machines is a it's, we're a high-tech company that's focused on the maritime and marine industries. What we are, we're the leader in autonomous command and control systems for vessels. And uh, where do you come into play in this uh, project? So, CMN builds amazing vessels, you know, and here they have the uh, high-speed interceptor, 32 meter. What we're doing is we put an intelligent brain into the vessel. So it takes on full uh, navigation and control and enables operations like this where we're remotely commanding the vessel from thousands of miles away. Uh, what are you demonstrating on this uh, screen? So this right here is uh, a, an electronic uh, nautical chart and this is our SM300 um, autonomy system. So this is the user interface that a remote commander can use to command a vessel, set up a, a, a voyage or a mission by plotting uh, waypoints, giving the vessel speed, and then deploying that mission. From there, the system that's on board the vessel takes over, takes control, and then is safely operating that vessel across that mission. Can you tell us about your uh, ed existing uh, pedigree? Uh, do you have existing customers? Are your systems uh, currently in use by uh, navies around the world? Yeah, absolutely. So, Sea Machines, we, um, we're a fairly new company. We're about five, a little over five years old. Uh, we launched this product, the SM300, uh, in 2019. 
we've sold just over 100 systems and deployed uh, around 35 of those so far. So, you know, U.S. Navy uh, has been using these uh, systems as well. You see here CMN, but we have a lot of commercial customers as well that are using them in work boats like tugs um, and other types of ships as well. And how does the, uh, the future, the outlook looks like for you? Uh, obviously, as uh, more and more navies are turning to unmanned. Oh, absolutely. The future is, is, is bright. Um, I mean, this technology like this, it, it, it's moving the maritime industries and fleets of the world into the 21st century. You know, it takes on effort from the manual and provides just immense new capabilities to enhance their operations. All right, Michael, thank you very much. Thank you.